JTAC is the man on the ground whose job is to make sure that we only hurt the people we mean to hurt with CAS assets. The close air support process has evolved since World War II and has culminated into the Nine Line, a concise format to get the important information about the situation on the ground to the pilot in the air. There are five major actions the JTAC does to get ordnance on the ground, and we'll cover each in detail. But to summarize, the JTAC moves to the area of operations and works contacts and builds the picture on the ground. Aircraft will check in with the JTAC, this time they'll let him know what weapons they're carrying and how long they'll be on station. The JTAC then uses the Nine Line to assign targets to those CAS elements. The JTAC will talk on with the CAS units if they're having trouble finding the targets or for re-attacks. Finally, the JTAC will release control of the aircraft or the aircraft can check out with the JTAC. We'll start at the top, working the AO and building the picture. The JTAC's first priority is to find targets in his AO pursuant to the mission at hand without getting himself shot. Once you've found suitable targets for CAS assets, you need to take that data and form it into the Nine Line. First, a bit of background. Here we have an enemy encampment with two heavy tanks, two short range SAMs, a squad of infantry, and some tents. All of this across the street from a football pitch that we do not want to hurt. Our mission is to locate the encampment, destroy it, and do it with zero collateral damage. You must be able to identify anti-air threats in the area. Sending in your cast to attack a target while it is being covered by anti-air is risky and should be avoided. Knowing the weapons your cast is carrying will help you build the total picture. For instance, if the target is covered by low altitude man pad SAMs and your support is carrying high altitude bombs, then the SAMs are no factor. But if your cast is carrying rockets or guns, you'll need to call in something with Mavericks or another seed flight first to clear the area. If nothing is available and the attack cannot be made safely, then don't be afraid to abort the attack. Aircraft will check in with you when they enter your AO. It is a standard brief where they will inform you of their aircraft type and number, what they are carrying, and how long they'll be available. After aircraft check-in, they are available for you to use. It's very important to pay attention to what ordinance the checking-in aircraft is carrying and how long they'll be on station. Gibson 11PO11, 13006 GBU-12, 30 minutes of playtime, ready to copy. The Nine Line itself is very simple. We'll go over it quickly to understand what it dictates, then we'll go over in depth the best ways to use it. First, the JTAC makes contact with his call sign and his position. He then informs the pilot of the type of control in effect. For this tutorial, Type 3 control is always assumed. Type 1 and 2 are just too much in depth to go in in 5 minutes. Lines 1, 2, and 3 are optional, but are needed if you want precise control over the attacking aircraft. The IP is the initial point. This is where the aircraft will start his attack. The second line is the heading. This is the heading to the target from the initial point that you gave. Line 3 is the distance. This is the distance to the target from the initial point that you gave. If you don't wish to use these lines, simply say lines 1, 2, and 3 in A. Our example after the video will include these so you can see how they're used. Line 4 is the target's elevation. Line 5 is a general description of the target. Tanks in the road or infantry in the open are examples. Line 6 is the target's location. You can give latitude, longitude, or grid coordinates, or offsets such as 2.5 miles southeast of Objective Bravo, or a visual indication such as 25 meters north of the radio tower. Line 7 describes how you're marking the target. It can be no mark if you're not using anything, marked by IR if you're using an IR pointer, smoke followed by the color, or laser followed by the code such as laser code 1644. Line 8 is the location of friendlies, which must be given from the target, cardinal direction, and the distance in meters. Line 9 is the egress method, which is a direction like south or a control point, such as egress IP Mazda. The marks and restrictions are a little more freeform, but they are very important. You'll want to inform the pilot of any hazards, such as weather or traffic, and restrictions such as the attack heading, and any threats that are nearby. You'll want to give threats as type, distance, and direction from the target, such as Zoo 23, two nautical miles north of target. So, let's talk strategy. The most surefire way to not kill your friends is to make sure you call in attacks parallel to friendly locations. Our A-10s are in this direction. Here's our targets, and here's our football pitch. To minimize the possibility of destroying it, we need to make sure that our attacks come from this direction or this direction. Attacks perpendicular to things you don't want to hit are high risk and should be avoided. The one exception is if your casts are armed with precision munitions and even then exercise extreme caution. Our A-10s have checked in at IP Tiger. Its location was determined in a briefing before the mission and it is here. 
We have one A-10 with Mavericks and one with laser-guided bombs. We need to tell our pilots to make a very precise run from a certain direction, but we have to be terse, so we won't tell them the long-winded story about the football pitch and our mission. We'll just use our 9-line to ensure the pilots do what we need. First, the angle from IP Tiger is not conducive for a safe attack given our mission parameters. They stand too much of a chance to go over the football pitch. So to set up our pilots a little bit better, let's set up line 1 as 7.5 nautical west of IP Tiger. That sets up our pilot's initial attack position right about here, which is a much more favorable angle for our objectives. We'll need to give the direction and distance from the IP to the target to the pilot, which will be done with line 2 and 3. Elevation, target type, and coordinates are handled in lines 4, 5, and 6. Notice we gave UTM coordinates. Latitude and longitude would have also been acceptable, as well as a visual indication such as a half-click northeast of Novo Airport. The JTAC will not be marking the target with an IR pointer, laser strobe, or smoke, so no mark will be line 7. Line 8 is to identify friendlies, which are 5 clicks northwest of the target area. Egress is to the northeast, so we can prioritize re-attack speed. The egress method depends highly on your priorities for the attack run. If you're trying to de-conflict with friendlies, then you'll probably want them to egress in a direction opposite from friendlies on the ground or other aircraft. If you're wanting to prioritize re-attack speed, then you'll probably want them to go about the direction that they came from to attack the first time. For remarks, normally we would enumerate the threats, but because the cast is attacking the primary threat, it would be redundant to list it here. We want to give a restriction to the attack heading that the aircraft can use so that we minimize the possibility of damaging the football pitch. In this instance, a heading restriction of 190 to 235 should be sufficient to keep the aircraft on a parallel track to collateral entities. To aid you in your mission objectives, you can also place altitude restrictions on aircraft or weapon restrictions. So no, I didn't get everything in in 5 minutes, but you have to admit, you did get your money's worth. I've put together a little video of us attacking an enemy camp with a couple of A-10s using the techniques that we taught here. Presented largely without commentary, we will narrate and annotate some key parts so you can follow along, and hopefully get an idea of what all this looks like in a real scenario. Here I'm scanning targets in my AO, and when I find some, I switch to my binoculars so that I can get more detailed information. The binocular view in DCS gives you the coordinates, elevation, and range to the target. Now that I've spotted, ranged, and identified targets in my AO, I can go ahead and pre-fill out some of the information on the 9-line card before any aircraft have even checked in with me. I know their elevation, target type, coordinates, and where I am compared to them, so I can go ahead and fill out lines 4, 5, 6, and 8. Gibson 11, Theo 11, 1 3000, 6 GBU 12s, 30 minutes of play time, ready to copy. Theo 11, Gibson 11, orbit at IP, anti air assets in area. Standby. Theo 11, we'll go. So, what I've done here is that I've asked Theo 11 to orbit at the IP because he's checked in with GBUs which, while not the most dangerous task in the world, I'd still rather take out those SAMs with something else. And I know that I'm also scheduled to get an A-10 armed with Mavericks today, which is a much safer bet. Gibson 1-1, one, one, Hammer 1-1 one, one with you. 1-8-10-C, 4-A-G-M, 65 Mavericks. Position is 4 miles south of IP Tiger. Uh, Flight time, 3-0 minutes. Sound copy. Hammer 1-1, one, one, this is Gibson 1-1, one, one, solid copy, advise when ready to copy 9-line. Gibson 1-1, one, one, Hammer 1-1, one, one, ready to copy. Hammer 1-1, one, one, Gibson 1-1, one, one, 9-line, as follows. <clears throat> line 1, 7.5 nautical west of IP Tiger, 1, 9 or 8, 6.5 nautical, elevation 122 feet, Target are two SAM launcher, two mounted SAM launchers. Spheroid 37 Tango. Coordinates Delta Kilo 0 3 4 1 4 4 8 4 6 4. No mark. Five clicks northwest. Egress northeast. Advise when ready to copy remarks. Ready to copy remarks. Make your final attack heading 190 to 235. End remarks. 122 two feet, 37 tango, delta kilo 03414484864. Hammer 11, read back uh, final attack heading restriction. 
Final attack heading 190235. Hammer 1 1, read back is correct. You're clear to engage. Hammer 1 1, clear to engage. Hammer 1 1, rifle. The uh, stadium. So you can see as the Maverick approaches here from the uh, from the northeast, we, we chose this attack direction because it gives a clear line of sight to to the target that doesn't intersect with the stadium. Even though we're using a precision guided munition, the stadium is a very tall target, and so trying to shoot down through that, you know, could have led to us hitting that stadium and failing our objectives. Target's destroyed. Good work. You're clear from my control. Clear from your controls. So Hammer 1-1 one, one is now clear of my control. He's clear to do whatever he wants to do at this point, essentially. I'm going to recall him back later, but since I've cleared him, it's pretty much at his discretion whether or not he can. Uh, he wants to come back and re-engage targets that I give him. So now that the SAM threat is cleared, I'm going to call Theo 1-1, one, one, who's armed with GBUs, to finish off the tanks. 1-1, one, one, skips in 1-1. One, one. Theo 1-1, one, one, ready to copy. Theo 1-1, one, one, device 1 ready to copy 9 line. Theo 1-1, ready to copy 9-1. 9-line as follows, line 1. 7.5 nautical west of IP Tiger. 1, 9 or 8. 6.5 nautical. 1, 2, 2 feet. Target is 2 tanks beside the road. 37 Tango. Delta Kilo. 03414. 48464. No mark. Friendly's five clicks northwest, egress northeast. One, two, two, three, seven, tango, delta kilo, zero, three, one, four, four, eight, four, six, four. Read back incorrect, line six. To confirm, 37 tango, delta kilo, zero, three, four, one, four. Four eight four six four, and, uh, and confirm uh, with readback, please. Uh, Delta Kilo zero three four one four four eight four six four. Readback is correct. Advise when ready for remarks. Ready for remarks. Target is uh, across the street from a large soccer field, um, so that'll be you know the easiest thing to reference with your imaging. Uh, attack direction two uh, one nine zero to two three five. Uh, no threats in area end remarks. Roger, across from the uh, soccer field, attack direction 190 to 235. Read back correct, uh, Theo 1 1 clear to engage. Theo 1 1 inbound. Hammer 1 1, Gibson 1 1. Hammer 1 1, go ahead. Uh, Hammer 1 1, are you available for a uh, follow up uh, gun attack? Hammer 1 1, available. Uh, Roger that. Uh, Go ahead and go back to uh, IP Tiger and uh, advise when you are there. We'll advise at IP Tiger, Hammer 1 1. Theo 1 1 in uh, IPM down. So I'm looking at all that infantry and I realize that it'd make a pretty good gun target, so I call up Hammer 1 1 to make sure that he's uh, available for a gun attack. And when he answers in the affirmative, I send him back to IP Tiger and I will uh, probably feed him another nine lines so that he can come back in for an attack. I uh, send Theo 1-1 one, one, uh, on a more immediate reattack vector. I don't think I give him a formal 9 line for the second one. Theo 1-1 one, one, in hot from north. Theo 1-1, one, one, tickle off northeast. Theo 1-1, one, one, one target destroyed, you're authorized for re-attack at your discretion. Theo 1-1, one, one, roger. Theo 1-1, one, one, the advisor target has uh, traveled about 15 meters to the southeast and is stationary again. Right, Theo 1-1, one, one, visual, re-attacking uh, from the north. Skip to 1 1 hammer 1 1 1 8 10 15,000 hold in right hand orbit at IP Tiger 1,150 guns 2 AGM 65 H plate time is 3 0. Hammer 1 1 this is Gibson 1 1 stand button right for 9 line. 
Hammer 1 1 ready to copy. That line as follows 7.5 nautical west of IP Tiger. Heading 198, distance 6.5 nautical. Elevation 122 feet. Target is infantry beside the street. Coordinates are 37 Tango, Delta Kilo 03414 48464. No mark. Friendly is 5 clicks northwest. Egress. Your discretion. One two two three seven tango delta kilo zero three four one four four eight four six four. Read back correct. Advisor, ready to copy remarks. Ready to copy remarks. Okay. Target is infantry beside the street. You'll see the burning targets that you guys took out on that last run. They're still positioned nearby. Uh, attack heading restriction one nine zero two three five. No threats. End remarks. One nine zero two three five no threats. Uh, Hammer one one, you are clear to engage. Theo one one, target destroyed. Um, egress to the northeast and uh, advise one ready to. Uh, are you available for a reattack? Theo one one, affirmative. Okay, watch that. Um, circle back from your uh, egress. So fly back southwest, uh, direct to target. And uh, at approximate target location, uh, if you could put some guns down on the tanks near the burning uh, vehicles there. Advise if you need a uh, detailed nine line for that attack. Don't always have to give them a nine line if they don't need so it. So, do you want it on the tents? Uh, affirmative target are four tents along the road beside the stadium. Roger, tell the tents. Okay, Roger that. Uh, you are clear to engage with restriction. Uh, ha uh, attack heading 190235. How copy? 190235 on the attack heading. Zero. Roger that. Clear to engage. Hammer 1 1 in from the northeast. Hammer 1 1, what's your distance from target? Second. What's your distance from the target? 4.6. Yeah, you're up in, uh, coming in right behind you. Hammer 1 1 off. Hey, 1 1, gun, gun, gun. Hammer 1 1, uh, good rounds on target, cleared for immediate circle and re attack. Hammer 1 1, copy, re engage. Hey, 1 1's off north. Theo 1 1, good hits, target destroyed. Uh, you are uh, cleared from my control, no further targets at this time. Theo 1 1. Hammer 1 1 in hot. Hammer 1 1 off. Hammer 1 1, rounds on target. Uh, let's see, no, no significant enemy presence remaining. You are cleared from my control. Clear from control, Hammer 1 1. Alright, awesome work, guys. I'm gonna just end it there.